What's up guys, my name is Killer Cloud, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to clean your mech mods. I'm going to be using is my handheld drill. I have an old RDA on my Submariner from Praxis, and I have it tightened down. The center post is on the check, and basically, you guys get the point. I don't want to have to rub it down by hand, I just want to have to spin it, you know? Brasso, if you guys don't know what Brasso is, it's a metal polisher, obviously. Uh, it cleans and polishes, and it's good for brass, copper, stainless, chrome, aluminum, aluminum, pewter, and bronze. Now, Brasso is a little on the abrasive side, so I wouldn't go very liberal with uh, with squirting this on a microfiber towel. You want to fold your microfiber towel like hamburger style, whatever is comfortable to you. I typically have two layers right here, and then just a tiny little dab right here, a little squirt, kind of like a dime size. We're just simply going to rest it in our microfiber towel right here and then just start spinning and you want to go light pressure you don't want to squeeze too tight because then you just rip the mod from your chuck also if you go too tight you might make grooves in your device depending on how soft the metal is brass is on the harder side copper is softer aluminum is softer so aluminum and copper you want to be very gentle with your mod uh, you don't want to use I would not recommend Brasso it says it's good for copper but you want to be very gentle with squeezing you don't want to squeeze too tight and make grooves in your mod it looks kinda ugly but if you guys can already tell pretty dirty right now so I'm gonna finish it up And that's almost done. It looks a lot brighter. A lot brighter than before. And I'm going to keep going. Until, until you're happy with the outcome. Until you're happy with the outcome. It, it's There is no rule on how much or how little you have to go. It's basically like if it's good to the eye, then you can kind of stop. So you kind of just want to get the exterior done. Um, like I said, you don't have to be very liberal with this at all. I just put about a dime size in and I'm just using the residual on the rag. I don't have to add any more at all. It does a pretty damn good job. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over so it's not dirty. And on the dry side, I'm going to dry off the entire mud. And now that's what you have right there. So what was a filthy, disgusting horrible mod i would never take this out in public or be seen with it this would be a disgrace to my family um it is now a bright shiny brass mod that i can take out to vape meets and not be ashamed of who i am it's definitely an easy way to clean your mods if you guys don't want to have to do it by hand uh you guys can do it by hand though it's the same process this is just quicker and Sometimes, you know, if you guys want to be gentle with your mods, by hand is definitely the best way to go if you want to be delicate. Uh, if you guys don't care about being delicate and you just want the quick and easy route, I suggest this way is just as fine. That's basically on how to clean a mod. Now, the outside, that's how you clean the outside of the mod. Now, I'm going to take off my RDA, and if you guys look at the top, it is not as shiny. So what I'm going to do is simply just expose the filth that I've made. And I'm going to take the top, and I'm just going to, by hand, rub it up and down. Rub it up and down. This is, this is, this video is not how I wanted it to turn out. I thought I was just going to teach you guys how to clean your mod, and it's turning into a, something that you would find on a, a website. But just up, down, up, down, up, down, and... Nice and shiny. There it is. Now, the thing with Brasso is, if you don't take everything off, it's going to harden and stick inside threading. And you guys don't want that at all, because then it's a pain in the butt to take back out. So... Basically what I would do in this scenario is one, take some brass out of this thing, wipe it down, clean the threads, then I would go to a sink with some warm water, some soapy warm water, and wash it so then it clears the entire brasso from the device. You don't want any brasso left on the threads that increases voltage sag and we we want we don't want that. That's basically it guys. I mean the difference is pretty easy to tell. You got this thing right here which is the switch that I haven't cleaned yet, and then you have the mod itself. Pretty, pretty, pretty clean. Compared to what it was before, it's very nice. I like it a lot. So, you guys can do this with your mods, you can do this with your contacts. Um, like, for instance, these contacts, this is a disc that completes the circuit inside my mech mod. You can do the same thing with that. Uh, it's good for Brasso. I like to clean 
my battery contacts, you know, that it works just fine too. Um, my RDAs cleans the center pins just fine. Basically, Brasso is used almost on everything that I want to clean, take away the dirt, repolish it. It does everything in one go. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if this was useful to you guys, please give a like in this video. Um, and please comment down below if you guys want to see any other videos. That really helps me out. So guys, hope you guys have a great night or day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.